Hi guys, welcome back to your favorite knowledge fun travel fan page. As promised today I am back with some new content on a slightly different topic than our routine travel videos. I decided to leave aside the so many boring videos about all the industrial engineering and production management stuff, which are floating around on YouTube for quite some time and personally plan to make a short and crisp video to give you guys an idea on what these concepts mean. This is a short talk on production management and industrial engineering. So, what's production management? Um think guys. Okay, let us cut the name and check one word at a time. Management of production i.e. management of the ways and means to produce something that wasn't already there. It involves two parts, a design of production system which is made of product, process, plant and equipment b development of control system to manage inventories, product quality, production schedules and productivity. Coming to industrial engineering, it's about all the engineering methodologies used in the industrial sector. Just like agricultural engineering is for agricultural sector and aerospace engineering deals with the aerospace sector. So what is industrial engineering all about? Well, put forth simply, it is the detailed analysis of the use and cost of resources of an organization. Resources are 4 megaseconds, men money materials and machinery. Any industrial engineer has to analyze if these resources are being used efficiently and are obtained at the best possible cost so as to minimize cost of production and increase profit margins of a production company. So how exactly do you do it? Let's dwell a bit deeper. Industrial engineering involves what is known as work study. It has two parts which are method study and work measurement. Method study as the name suggests, empowers one to assess if the current way of utilizing resources in a particular production process is correct or is there a better way available. Method study has clear objectives to constantly improve and maintain the operational performance. So now that you understand method what method study is, how do you apply it to any production process? Well that's done is a few simple steps, a select the job you want to improve, b observe by yourself and record the current state of affairs with accurate facts, c examine each fact in the job, critically d finally develop, implement and sustain one standard practice to do that job. Work measurement on the other hand, allows one to finalize upon the standard time required to do a particular activity. It is like measuring the average speed of the car to determine the average time taken by the car to reach from place A to place B. Since you need a watch to calculate the speed, a work study needs you to record the time required for five different types of events. For the sake of simplicity, an entire product process is simulated on say a sheet of paper using a string diagram which simply connects these five types of events. These events are, A operation OR event where there is a change in the state of a product, B inspection OR quantitative and qualitative checking of the produced goods, C transport OR time utilized in movement of goods, resources, D delay OR a time lapse when nothing happens, E storage OR time for which the resource was left unutilized or the produced good was unsold. Concluding it all, we have production management where you design and develop a production system. Then we discussed on industrial engineering which deals with the optimization of the 4M resources used in any industrial production process and this involves one method study where you optimize the production process and two work measurement where you sharpen your resource utilization. That's it guys. You now know what those brain damaging terms mean. If you like the content, don't forget to share this to those who need it most. Do show us some love by clicking on the like and subscribe button below. Till the next time, keep rocking folks.